Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Print Pros. Now today's episode is gonna be a little bit different. So if you've been watching the show lately, you've been seeing me print on t-shirts, you've seen me print on white ones and black ones and all that stuff, but today we're gonna be printing on hoodies. Now, if you haven't noticed, the temperature has started to drop, except here in Miami, where it's still like a blazing 80 degrees. Uh, trust me, it's not as nice as it seems. It isn't. But it is dropping a little bit, so that means that we can finally maybe wear one of these hoodies or jackets and stuff like that. And anywhere else in the country, you're probably receiving a lot more orders for garments like these, where the temperature is actually pretty low, where you probably need to wear one of these to survive. So today we're gonna be printing on one of these hoodies on the Rico RI 1000 DTG printer. And you might think that printing on one of these hoodies is a straightforward process, kind of just like a t-shirt, but it really isn't. And there's a few things that you have to keep in mind and do differently. If not, you can really mess up a lot of these. And they're definitely more expensive than t-shirts, so that's probably something you wanna be avoiding. Hey, look at Tony. Tony's coming in. What's up, Tony? Your hairstyle changes like every day. What are you drinking? Is that coffee? coffee. You just brought in a, like an open cup from your house? I can't find my, uh, my mug. So just follow along and let's just start printing. So before I even pre-treat the hoodie, what I'm actually gonna do is throw it on the heat press for about 10 seconds, just to get rid of any excess moisture that it might have, and to make sure that all those fibers that it has get nice and flat, just push them down into the garment itself. This is a hoodie, it is much thicker than a t-shirt, so it does have a lot more fibers and we don't want any of those fibers sticking out, so I'm gonna throw it on the heat press. Now one thing that I am gonna start doing that you're gonna notice that is different from the, uh, t-shirts is that I'm going to be threading the hoodie every single time. Usually the t-shirt, I just throw it on the heat press, but the hoodie, I'm gonna be threading it on the platform. Threading it just means that I'm putting the platform through the hoodie. Now, as you notice, I'm not actually throwing any Teflon on there. I'm actually just putting it on straight. And the reason why is because again, I wanna just flatten all those fibers. And I feel like this way, I get a lot more pressure and a lot more impact on the actual garment. So, throwing it on there for 10 seconds. Now, usually this heat press would automatically open when the timer runs out, but it's only 10 seconds, so I'm just gonna watch it and pop it open after 10 seconds. Now, this is gonna come off. Now, the reason why you're gonna see me start threading this hoodie is because the hoodie has this very annoying pocket on the front. So let's say that I didn't thread it and I just threw on the hoodie like a regular t-shirt and I just put it on like that and I pressed it, that pressing would leave an indentation of the pocket on the back of the hoodie itself. And then later on when we pre-treat it and we cure the pre-treat and then when we print on it and we cure the ink, you would actually start to see that indentation more and more and more because it would be marked by the pre-treat and the ink. So you want to thread your hoodies. All right, so we press the hoodie for 10 seconds. Now, what I also like about this is that it also gives me like a slight little mark that shows me the entire area of the heat press. And that kind of helps me to line up my design and all coordinate with the DTG so that I get it in the right spot. All right, so now I'm going to throw my hoodie onto my makeshift pre-treatment area. Now, the reason why I put it like this is because after I pre-treat it, the reason why I put it with the uh, hood facing me is because after I pre-treat it, I wanna just be able to grab it from the bottom here and thread it on the heat press again without having to fumble around with it. Now, here is the next trick. So usually if you don't have one of these pre-treatment stations, like for example, if you don't have one of the enclosed automatic pre-treat machines like the Pearl, or if you haven't built one of these DIY pre-treatment stations that allow you to pre-treat just on the area that you're actually gonna be printing on. If you've seen any other videos on YouTube maybe, you've seen some of these little DIY pre-treatment stations that people build that it's basically like this floating platform uh, that is the exact same shape as the total printing area of your printer as the platform 
of your printer. And what that does is that you fold your garment around that little platform and then you just spray it on. And what that allows you to do is only spray pre-treat on the actual area that you could even print on anyway. So you don't get any excess pre-treat anywhere else on the garment or anything like that. Now, I've been thinking about building one of those pre-treatment stations, but I haven't yet. But if you guys wanna watch me build one of those pre-treatment stations and I can show you how to do it, then just let me know in the comments below. And if we get enough comments about that, maybe it'll just be the next episode. I don't know. But for today, since I don't have one of those, I'm gonna show you a quick and dirty way of doing that, of only getting pre-treat on the area that you wanna print. And it's gonna be with using the actual bracket from the DTG, because this is the exact same size as your total printing area on your printer. All you have to do is grab this guy and then just place it where you would like your design to go. And this also helps you with placement of your design on the actual hoodie. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it here and I'm gonna put it where I want my design to go. And then when I spray it, I'm just gonna spray inside of this rectangle and it's gonna keep me from mostly spraying anywhere else on the garment. So now let's go over the pre-treat. So this is the second biggest difference about printing out on a hoodie versus printing out on a t-shirt, which is that you need a lot more pre-treat. Because of the fact that this is a thicker garment, it does have a habit of absorbing that pre-treat at a faster rate than a regular t-shirt. So you do need to spray about, mm, I would say uh, 150 to 200 percent more pre-treat on one of these hoodies than on a regular t-shirt. Usually if you've watched me in the past when I pre-treat on a shirt, I basically do one and then two passes. On a hoodie, I would do about three to four. Now I am gonna be using the Wagner spray gun, which comes included with the Rico RI 1000. The Rico RI 1000 also comes included with a heat press, which is pretty nice. Now let's go over what pre-treat I'm actually using. So this is the pre-treat that I'm gonna be using today. You've probably seen me using it in the past. This is the Image Armor Ultra. This is for black shirts and for black garments. It works really, really well. We also have a version for white garments that I've used in the past. You've seen me using it for printing on white polyester. Uh, and yeah, I've used this in the past. If you're interested in printing on hoodies, you could actually go down to the link in the description. There's gonna be link. Uh, there's gonna be a link there to our online store where you can pick one of these up. So I'm actually running a little bit low on my spray gun. So I'm actually gonna take this opportunity to fill it up a little bit more. I'm gonna give it a nice shake. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and spray the hoodie. What I'm gonna be doing is going from top to bottom and then side to side, and then again from top to bottom. And then if I feel like it needs a little bit more, I'm gonna go from side to side again. Here we go. All right, so as you can see, I did about four passes over the hoodie. And if you look at it closely, you can actually see that there is a nice coating of pre-treat right on the surface and mostly all within the bracket. So I'm not gonna have a lot of residue or a lot of extra pre-treat around the garment. That would really just evaporate anyway. Uh, once it goes onto the heat press. Now, one of the reasons why you don't wanna have pre-treat all over the garment and a lot of it is because once you throw it onto the heat press and you press down, if you have a lot of pre-treat all around the borders of the surface area of the heat press, you might actually get these lines of residue that will be burnt on to your garment. That's why you wanna try to spray your pre-treat only on the area that you're actually gonna be printing. Let me get rid of this. Silly. You came back today? <laughs> All right, so now that I'm done pre-treat, I'm gonna take the bracket and look at it right there. You can see a perfect rectangle of pre-treat right on the surface of that uh, hoodie. Now, obviously it's not perfect. You still see a little bit around, 
of uh, excess, but it's not that much. It's gonna be just fine. And I'm done pre-treating, so I'm gonna take the bracket from the DTG, uh, which I'm gonna be needing once I go to print on the printer. And I'm just gonna wipe it down real quick with this old shirt. Now, I'm only doing this because again, I don't have a pre-treatment station that I've built up, but if you also don't have one, you can do this and then just pre-treat all your garments and then wipe it down and then print on all your garments. That way you're not having to wipe it down between every single pre-treat. Just do it everything in batches. All right, so this is good to go. I'm gonna just go ahead and pop it here on my DTG. I'm done with the pre-treat, I'm gonna grab the hoodie. I'm gonna throw it back on the heat press to cure the pre-treat. And again, like I said, I am threading it every single time, not just on the heat press, but I'm also gonna be threading it on the DTG as well. All right, so now I threw it on here. I'm gonna take my sheet of Teflon. And what I'm gonna be doing is that I'm gonna be pressing it for 30 seconds at 330 degrees Fahrenheit. And after that, I'm going to continue pressing it at 10 seconds at a time until I don't see any more steam and until I feel that the surface of the garment is dry. So, let's start doing it. Now, another awesome thing about this heat press is that it's going to automatically pop after the 30 seconds. So, I don't really have to worry about anything. All right, so five, four, three, two. Boom. So, here is the hoodie. You can see a lot more steam and whew, it's hot. So you can see a lot more steam, so it definitely needs a lot more time. So I'm gonna keep throwing it back in for 10 seconds at a time until I don't see any more steam and until it is nice and dry. All right, 10 seconds. Boom, all right, so I think it's good now. That Teflon sheet is flying right off. I'm gonna just give it a nice quick feel again just to make sure it's nice and dry. Still feeling a little bit of moisture on it. So I think I'm gonna throw it back in for another 10 seconds. All right, so I took it off the heat press. Now let's put it onto the DTG. So what I'm doing right now is that I'm going to use this line of the hoodie, this one right here, to position the design in the very middle of the back. Let me throw on the bracket. And the bracket actually has this little circle here. This one right here. And that's great because I can use this to make sure that it is perfectly aligned with the middle of my garment, and that is basically dead center. It's awesome. All right, just gonna tuck it all in to carriage. All right, then I'm gonna be selecting my design, which I've already been printing, so I'm just gonna select it right here. It's this middle one, and press print. All right guys, so here you have the final print. Now this design looks pretty freaking awesome. So I really hope that this video helped you guys out if you are interested in starting to print on hoodies, which is honestly a great market, especially at this time of the year. So if you guys have any questions about this project, go ahead and shoot them down in the comments below. And if you are interested in the Rico RI1000 and purchasing it, it does come in a bundle with everything else that you need to start printing. You can also check that out in the link in the description below. If you guys are interested in connecting with other apparel decorators like myself, then join our free Facebook group, Embroidering Custom Apparel Mastery. There you could ask any questions, show off your work, stuff like that. You can find that in the link in the description. Also, if you wanna stay up to date with the latest news in the world of decorated apparel, then follow us on Instagram at RicomaHQ. All right guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next episode.